Uh, my name is Tom Friends. We're at Monster Channel Seafood in Wilmington, North Carolina. Rightful Beach, North Carolina, actually. Um, we're going to play a red drum. Um, it's being a red drum. I uh, prefer a serrated knife. You can use uh, uh, just a fillet knife if you'd like. We're going to do a combination of both that. Uh, we're going to start making a cut down the back of the drum. Um, here we go. Now as you cut, when you go right down the back, um, the scales can cause a problem with the knife wanting to slide uh, up and off the fish. So always be very careful. The closer you can get to the dorsal fin, um, you can get under those scales, which will keep that knife from slipping and uh, hurting yourself, um, which I have done. But you cut all the way to the backbone um, and try to stop when you get directly over the backbone and you use your fillet knife to roll over top of the backbone uh, back down to the bone. And then so press it down on the bones themselves and then straight out in that sort of motion out the other side of the fish. And you pick the fillet up, keeping it out of your way and you'll cut through the rib bones here. As you pick it up, you won't cut back into the meat as you go through it. And then we will do the same thing on the other side, leaving the fillet um, attached to the fish. It, uh, it keeps it a level surface. If you take that off, then you, you know, you gotta, uh, you're cutting downhill, which you don't want to do. Stay as close, close to the dorsal fins as you can, keeping you out of the way of the scales, keeping the knife on the fish and away from your hand. Again, cut all the way to the backbone. Get over the backbone. Out the other side. Over the backbone. Trying to cut backwards so you can see. Um, then you're, you're keeping this up so he's not to cut back into the meat all the way to the head. And then from this point, you just cut it up. Uh, but there we go. There we go. And we'll skin this as well. Um, now you can use, yeah, this is uh, my preferred knife. It's actually a bread knife. They call it a scallop bread knife. Um, you can use anything, any, any flat um, knife. You just, uh, with the drum, skinning's pretty easy. The skin's are really thick, which allows you to put a lot of pressure uh, straight down without cutting through the skin. So you can put a lot of pressure straight down on the table, uh, back and forth, real slow motions, until um, one, one end to the next, until you've got the skin off. And like I said, the drum, uh, unlike like flounder, if you push down that hard, you cut through the skin every time. The drum, or the drum, gives you a little bit of uh, gives you a little bit of room to work with. And there we go. Red drum for later.